fourth canto of Bhagavatam, there's the prayers of Lord Shiva and very beautiful stotrams of Lord Shiva. It's called Rudra Gita. We have the Uddhava Gita and the Rudra Gita and the Gopi Gita and the Vena Gita and the Pranaya Gita and the Brahma Gita and Uddhava Gita. Many, many Gitas are there. You have the Yuga Gita, then you have the, the Mahishi Gita, then you have uh, the, the Deva Stuti, the Deva Stuti and Brahma Stuti. Deva Stuti is 10th Canto, Chapter 2, Prayers to Krishna in the Womb, in Mathura. Devaki was carrying Devaki Nanda and Sri Krishna, and all the Devadas came and offered prayers. Then in chapter 14, after he was uh, humiliated and, and corrected, Vimohan Lila, Brahma offered Brahma Stuti. And incidentally, for your reverence, since you're young students of the, of the Bhakti, these two particular chapters, 10th Canto, chapter 2, and 10th Canto, chapter 14, Chapter 2 is called Deva Stuti. It's easy for you because you know Telugu and Hindi and English and all these things. So it means Stutis or Stavas, prayers by the Devatas. Shiva, Brahma, Varuna, etc., Indra. And then Chapter 14 is Brahma Stuti, Chaturmukh Brahma. So our Acharyas and my teachers who have taught me something, they said these two chapters are basically the most important chapters of the Bhagavatam to reveal the philosophical points of the Bhagavatam, which means Bhagavan. The glories of Bhagavan Sri Krishna are perfect. The Bhagavatam is 18,000 shlokas. All about Krishna, devotees, and many, many things. But these two chapters, ten, chap, Canto 10, Chapter 2, and Canto 10, Chapter 14, they, are, they give the essential, they have essential verses there for understanding Krishna. Especially look at Brahma Stuti. So many verses about sadhana, about Bhagavan. Samastrita ye palava plavam, that's one. And then, nate nukampam shushamikshamano. They're all classic gold, what do you say, gold, gold records, you know, the, you know, in the old days, you, you, you sold a lot of your recordings. It's like a gold record. They're Oscar winners. They're trophy winners. So that's these two chapters. And another chapter which many devotees, when they're reading well, Iskand's Krishna book, or they're reading the Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto, they skip over. It's called the uh, uh, Shruti Stuti. Shruti Stuti means prayers by the personified Vedas, Shruti Stuti. That's 10th Canto, Chapter 87. And there's Vishnu Chakravarti gives some of his longest tikas in the entire Bhagavatam in that chapter. And it's, it's, there's an ocean of amazing and wonderful teachings about bhakti, about bhakti bhajan, about Bhagavatam, about Bhagavan Sri Krishna. And the 10th Canto, Chapter 87. When I was a new devotee, a very, back in the 70s, I was reading Krishna book, and every time I got to that chapter, because it's not Leela, it's just philosophy, questions and philosophy. And so, oh, heavy philosophy. I said, oh, oh, I skip over. 87, I go to 88, about Brikasura. Brikasura got a benediction from Shiva that he could crack anybody's heads, and he wanted to crack Shiva's head. And then, because we like stories, we're, we're, we're Shudras and Kali Yuga, we like Ramayana, we like Mahabharata, and we like, we like the movies and cinema. We, we, we like stories, philosophy, Sandesh, Tattva. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, oh. Put on some little Krishna cartoons. <laughs> Put on some little Krishna cartoons really quick. I'm getting a splitting headache from all this philosophy. So we, we, that's our unfortunate plight in the Kali Yuga. Manda Samanda Matayo. Told in the Bhagavatam, we're slow and lazy.